Welcome to this awesome event. I'm super excited about it. Truly, it, I hope it will blow your mind truly because some of the ideas we're going to talk about are things that you don't normally think about and could be keeping you stuck. So let's jump right in here. And I have to ask this before we begin, right? Have you guys struggled to lose weight or make money on demand? Of course. Oh, sure. Right? Right? At some point in our life, I think we all do. And to me, this is like the secret weapon when you learn about this and you know how it works. Okay. So the question is, why do you think that's been the case? Okay. So do you think it's been like a knowledge gap, an implementation gap, both? And you guys don't even have to say anything or share. You just, I just want to, it's food for thought. Okay. But if you can, if you answer this question, why do I think it's been hard for me to lose weight? Why has it been hard for me to make money? That will start to uncover your current mindset. Okay. So literally, if you write it down, you'll start to go in the direction of where you need to go anyways, to discover what's keeping you stuck. Okay. And the good news here is neither has to be a struggle anymore. I promise you, by the end of this, I want you guys to have full empowerment for what is going on in your life. And truly, what you learn here today will help you start losing weight and making money way easier and more exciting than ever before. And I want to ask you, does that sound cool? Like, would that be awesome for you? <laughs> Yes, that would be awesome. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you. <laughs> Those of you on the replay as well, how does that sound, right? Put your, put your messages down below, okay? So beautiful, you're in the right place. Let's get started. You guys obviously know who I am, <laughs> but truly I have started off as a health coach, became a life coach, got into mindset coaching. Now I just call myself a limitless coach. Because truly, you are limitless, and your mindset has the power to change everything. And let me tell you, we are going to uncover some next-level ideas for you today that I promise you are going to blow your mind. And if you put them into play and practice, you're about to see what can happen for you, okay? So before we really begin, though, what is our mindset exactly? Truly, it's a set of things in your mind, thoughts, beliefs, ideas, you know, anal analysis, all the things we're thinking about, stories we're telling ourselves. It's basically a set of those things in any given area of our life, okay? And we truly have many different mindsets in different areas. Some people can be super confident with relationships or money or health, but totally not confident in other areas, right? So it's your mindset can be drastically different but it literally is just like you're setting a thermostat for yourself, okay? So whatever thoughts you have, whatever beliefs you hold around that idea, that is your thermostat right now, okay? So know that you could change your thermostat at any time, quite honestly, and we're gonna challenge that today for you, okay? Changing what our mind is set to, all it takes is one change, one new thought, one new belief, one new perspective, can totally change the trajectory of your entire life. I'm here to tell you, I'm living proof. Many of my clients are living proof of this. And you guys included who are on the call with me today, I appreciate you guys for being here, by the way. You guys are awesome. We are limitless beings capable of making tremendous change in our life. This workshop could be the very thing that changes everything for you. So make sure you grab a pen, take great notes, and stay to the end if you can, because I'm going to share some life-changing information and an opportunity for some really cool next level stuff. Okay. So who is ready? You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. Here is what's actually possible when you change your mindset. This is Bill. And Bill drops 26 pounds in one month, 140 pounds in one year. And in total, I think he's honestly over 180 pounds now. But he, I worked with him over the past couple of years. 
on and off. And once he understood the mindset you guys are we're going to be talking about today, this is what he did. He's a completely new guy. He's pursuing his dreams, which is actually an amazing musician in our area. And he's actually been going to Nashville, pursuing his dream to the next level. And he tells me all the time he would have never been able to do this had he not gotten into the mindset we got into. Okay. So this is Bill. Mike, Mike was going to be here, but Mike went from literally making 3K a month in just a matter of a few weeks of implementing a mindset that we uncovered. He made a 30K a month last year, and now he actually has crossed over 50K for himself. So I'm, I don't want to toot his horn, but he's kicking butt in so many levels. And again, it had only everything to do with his mindset once we uncovered that for him. John, John literally has my record. <laughs> he lost 84 pounds in four months, and it actually was three and a half months. And I don't like to even tell people about this because I didn't even want him to do what he did. I'll be sharing this a little bit later. But literally, when, when you set your mind to something, know that this is possible. We're going to talk about John in just a, a little bit later in the session. Rachel lost 60 pounds in under nine months. And it was all because we unlocked this mindset. And Rachel is my cousin. And she actually was one of my very first clients. My Aunt Vicky also lost 90 pounds. I didn't put her on here. Uh, but they were one of, one of my first couple of clients. And again, we uncovered this mindset that we're going to be talking about today for them to allow them to lose the weight that they did. And then, of course, there is me. <laughs> I lost 30 pounds in three months without exercising, and I eliminated my chronic allergies and inflammation. Literally, this is a plane. My buddy and I, Todd, went to visit California about eight years ago, and this was me waking up for an early flight, and this was the state I was in all the time inflamed. I never could breathe out of my nose. It was terrible. And this is actually what helped compel me to make the changes I made. And I'm also going to be talking about that shortly as well. Okay. But this is what happens when you unlock a new mindset for yourself. Dramatic change. Okay. So what is the right mindset for success? Well, there are several. There's about 10 I've actually uncovered that are dominant but six of the most important ones we're gonna be talking about today. So let's jump right in, you guys. Mindset shift number one has everything to do with your self-worth. You will never go higher than your current level of self-worth in every area of your life, truly. I love these quotes, right? The world will never value you more than you value yourself. It just won't, right? We, it's, everything starts with us, right? You will never have or make more money. You will never be less weight. You won't eat the foods you know you need to eat, the healthy foods. You won't have more loving relationships than what you think you're worthy of. So man, is this powerful, right? You won't, literally, like you can't eat the foods that you need to eat if you think you're a piece of garbage, right? You're like, well, why am I gonna eat these types of foods, right? You won't be in a loving relationship or honor it if you don't feel you're worthy of it. So we want to really do some introspection here. What is your self-worth? Now, guys, I know, and you guys on the call, you guys are priceless. You guys are amazing. You are worth 50 million times what you think you are right now. Okay? I want you to challenge this for yourself. Okay? On well, this mindset alone. If you increase it over the next couple of days, it'll change everything for you in your life. I promise you. So we're going we're gonna to circle back a little bit, but this is huge. I hope this brings the value from this presentation alone to you. Okay. Mindset shift number two. There are no heroes or magic pills. I got news for you guys. Okay. There is no knight in shining armor coming to rescue you. <laughs> Right? The next best program, coach, strategy, tactic, solution, shiny object. You guys, I have invested. If you, if you knew, you'd be slap me. You'd be like, what are you doing? 
I've invested so much. I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of programs, had so many coaches, literally looking for the thing that would help solve whatever's going on in my mind. It's not how it works, guys, okay? There are no magic pills. There's no magic foods. There's no magic exercises even, although there are some highly leveraged foods and exercises we're going to be talking about. And there's ways we do it, which is another mindset we're going to get into. But truly nothing, no one thing is actually going to solve the problem. The only thing that will is your own mindset, okay? So what we want to do is this is where it starts to shift. Accept responsibility for your life. Know that it is you and you alone, right? We'll get you there, you know, wherever you want to go. Truly, no one else will do it for you. You're the only one that can take you there. So it's time we become our own savior, right? And literally, it's kind of cool because most programs will actually work if you work them, if you go all in on them, actually. So there's lots of great programs out there. In fact, someone wouldn't release a program unless it worked, quite honestly. And if they did, it would, they'd be insane because no one would want it. But truly, people only really release things that actually do work if you work them, though, okay? So mindset shift number three, food and money are energy. This one is going to blow your mind. Let's get some serious clarification on this. What exactly is money? What exactly is weight? These are just ideas, right? And honestly, what do you guys think? Like, what do you think money is? What do you think weight is, right? Put it in the comments. You know, for those of you on the call, if you want to share, I invite you to share. But truly, money, it's a funny thing, right? Because we don't normally think about it the way we're going to today. Is it an idea? Is it a tool? Is it a value exchange? Right? What is weight exactly? What is our body weight? Right? Is it your body size or, or mass? Right? Is it the nut sum of the food you've eaten? Right? What exactly is it? And I love these little quotes I want to share. Money is the illusion of what the world thinks you are worth. Truth is, all souls are priceless. And it's up to you to understand that, right? That you are priceless. But I also love this one. I'm not losing weight. I'm getting rid of it. I have no intention of finding it again. <laughs> right? I love that one. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to lose weight. We want to get rid of that bad boy. <laughs> right? So truly, the, what are they? They're both energy. Money is energy. It's really just an idea. It's a, it's a limitless idea. It's an agreed upon medium in exchange for value. And we've all agreed upon it, right? But it's just, it's literally the energy of value. What is weight? Very similar. It's a physical energy though, right? So it's the net sum of all the food or calories that you've, and energy that you've consumed and is the net sum result of that. So if you've over-consumed, guess what? You just have, an, you have a stash of energy there. And we're going to talk about this. I want to put the right ideas in your mind here. But both are energy that you can save or consume or spend or expend, okay? So truly, how do you actually make more money? You provide more value in, to the marketplace and to be able to save more of it, right? Like literally, you just make more money and then you save more of it. That's how you do it. And then how do you actually lose weight? you got to eat less calories and expend more energy. It's really just literally the cut and dry that simple, but we're going to get into this even further for you. So the very first question I have for you, how are you using your energy, right? How are you using your money? How are you using your food, okay? Are you saving or eating more? Are you spending or expending more? Are you attracting, loving it? And that's good or bad, by the way. Like if you are you know, attracting, loving food too much, it can go on the other side. But if you're attracting, loving money, that's a good thing to save. Or are you repelling it? Hating it? Is it a pain point for you, right? Do you respect it? Are you prioritizing it? One of my favorite quotes I learned this years ago is, are you living to eat or eating to live? Man, did that change my mind about seven years ago. And I made this change for myself for healthy, towards the health route. 
I was, I, I was literally living to eat. Like you just, the pleasure of food and so many, 90% of people on the planet are living to eat actually. They can't wait to go to dinner. They can't wait for the next food that they're going to eat. But food is just energy, right? And truly, when you make this shift for yourself, hey, I'm eating to live. My goodness, did that change a game for me? I still eat to live. Does it say, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy food. It's just, it's the way you're looking at food that makes all the difference, okay? So this is really what we want to look at. How balanced are we in our life with our money, with our food? Because if you're out of balance in either one, it's going to cause you pain, suffering. It sucks. Trust me. I've been there many, many times. <laughs> but it really is this simple. You can literally look at it like this, like it's a little scale, right? And I also love, and this is where it's going to start changing the game for you guys, is I want you to look at it like a bank account or a reservoir, like your body as well. Your body is just a reservoir of energy, okay? Like a capacitor. So it's easy to envision the, your savings account, right? Like if you've, you've saved more money, you've got more in the account, right? And then you could spend more. But if you go into credit card debt, you're spending something you don't have in your bank account, right? It's pretty easy to understand. But the same is true for your body. That's why, by the way, you guys, why I rolled these two into one, as I realized there's so many correlations to this energy type of talk between both. I'm like, hey, why don't we rock and roll together and solve two of the biggest pain points for most of my people and clients. So I hope that sounds cool, right? But basically, your body's the same exact way. So all of the food that you've eaten and you haven't used yet and expended, it, your body's natural mechanism is to store in what's called fat stores, your fat cells. That's all it is. It's a natural mechanism. So if you've just overconsumed, right, and it's nobody's intention to, it's just kind of like a habitual thing at this point for people. If you overconsume, you store an over amount. So what I like to say, and to make it more fun and exciting, is, hey, you've got a huge bank account stored up of energy. And truly, you do. Because one pound equals 3,500 calories. And so all the pounds of body fat, if you do the math, right? Like Bill, you go back to my guy, Bill. He was over 420 pounds, right? He probably had 100 pounds or more of body fat, right? 150 pounds of body fat. A lot of it was muscle, you know what I mean? But, but that's a lot of energy. Literally, you could live off of yourself for months, right? If you guys have ever seen the show Alone, right, where they go out to survive, well, one of the guys on Alone, actually, one of the records, I think, it was he lost 84 pounds or 80, 80 something pounds in 67 days. And he, it was a third of his body mass that he lost, and he had to, he had to leave the show because of it. But like that's energy, like that energy kept him alive. Like it's that's your body's innate me mechanism. So when you have ex all this extra energy stored up, guess what? You have tons of energy that you can go on a shopping spree with. Truly, you could work your tail off for hours a day and still have plenty of in the reserve, right? So I hope that uh, that makes sense. But this idea here, and this is literally what I teach people, is you know if you want to lose one pound. If you divided 3,500 calories by seven days, all it is is you got to eat 500 calories less each day, right? To be able to lose one pound a week. But the people I showed you, they expedited this for themselves immensely. And I'm going to show you what actually happened with John right here. How exactly did John drop 84 pounds in four months? Well, this is how he did it. He only ate 600 to 1,000 calories a day. They were mainly salads with no dressing, no oil. Oil is just wasted calories with literally, you know, fruits and veggies. That's all he had for four months. And he exercised one to two hours a day. At one, you know, one hour in the morning, one hour at night. He did it every single day, pretty much. Now, he missed a few days, but for four months because he had lots of energy in the reserve. I do not advise you to do this, by the way. <laughs> If you want to, like in 10 days, that's why I named this like 
uh, you know, drop 10 pounds in 10 days, totally. Uh, but I don't want you to extend it longer than that, uh, quite honestly, because it's it's actually not super healthy. I was working with John one-on-one while he was going through this, and he he set his mind like no one else I've ever seen. And man, he just wanted to go for it. And he did it. And so that, but what happened in the bottom here is you can see he required your T number is total energy expenditure number. So it's without going into crazy detail, it's your basal metabolic rate plus your activity level. His was 3000 calories, which means he needed 3000 calories to just stay status quo every day for his body. So what he did is he started eating less than a thousand and then worked out for 500 calories burning each hour. And so he basically burned a thousand calories. So he literally had a net zero every day, pretty much. And his, his T is 3000 and put there's 3,500 calories in one pound. So literally he was dropping six pounds a week, almost a pound a day. So literally, that's what he did. So I hope you guys are kind of seeing this is mind blowing to think about, but it's literally that's what it looks like. Okay. So let me let's do a quick check in here, guys. How important and valuable is your health and is your finances, right? Are we actively prioritizing both of them or are we just wishing and hoping that they get better, right? This is truly like you, you guys have so much more power than you realize. And if you just make the decision today that, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to take my health more serious. I'm going to take my finances more serious. You can literally transform your life in the matter of a month, a few months, like this year. But that's my goal for everyone here listening into this is this year could be unbelievably different. And, and literally, you can unlock a new life for yourself if you start to think in this terms, okay? So let's get, go ahead. There's three more mindset shifts. I hope you guys are getting value, by the way. Hope this is very, very, like, empowering and helping you guys out because it just gets better. <laughs> Absolutely, buddy. I just had one question you said earlier. You said that oils have no values, like on your salads and whatnot. Are oils not good fats? Are they not any kind of nutrients or minerals or any of the sort? Or are they just purely shit, like you're saying? Yes, great question, Rob. Thank you so much, man. Basically, oils are, the if, if you look at olive oil, right? They take just the fat out of the olive, and that's what it is, actually. So to me, it's very empty calories. And literally, oil in and of itself is the highest calorie content foods available to our for us it's literally 100 to 200 calories per tablespoon which it's just to me it's just so it's empty calories that you just don't need so you might as well eat the olive in other words you know what i mean so i hope that makes sense absolutely yeah thank you for that of course man yes awesome yeah you guys so mindset shift number four it's less about what you do and more about how you do it I found this picture. I thought it was kind of funny. There's more than one way to skim a cat, <laughs> right? And I hate that term, but it's 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 true, right? There's lots of ways to accomplish a goal, quite honestly. So literally to make money, you could sell a product or service. By the way, I'm going to be providing a resource that you can download or actually I'm just, it's just a link to like a document that you can get to that'll have lots of ways, okay? So stay with me here. I'm just presenting a handful. But basically, you can sell products or services. You could fill a need with a job or a business, right? You could increase your cash flow or income or decrease your expenses and liabilities. And you could start saving and investing more so than ever before, right? Very simple and straightforward. Same thing with losing weight. Lots of different foods and diets and approaches that can control your intake of calories. Lots of ways to be active and exercise, right? Fasting is a way to not eat, right? You literally just go on fasts on a regular basis. They call that intermittent fasting. So truly, these are some of the best ways from my own experience to make more money. Affiliate marketing, owning a business. Man, these, these are literally, the to me, the best ways. Affiliate marketing, really quick. It's so awesome because 
you don't have to do a thing. You just, you just tell people about somebody else's product or service. So literally they provide the service and product. They have all the overhead, they deliver it. They do all the customer service and you just literally point them in the right direction. Okay. And make a commission off of that. How cool is that? Right. In fact, that's how I got into this world was with affiliate marketing from one of the companies I learned a lot of this stuff from. Owning a business, right? Instead of working for somebody or some, you know, and being limited to how much you can make, own your own business. You're your own boss. You put your own value and price tag together, right? Creating leverage. If you trade time for money, it's always kind of a losing game. So if you can create something where you only spend one hour or one time making it and you could resell it over and over and over again you're creating a lot more leverage in your life okay books courses programs podcasts i mean there's literally dozens of ways you can do this but also providing specialized high value service that's why i've i've always been one-on-one -on -one coaching with people because i can provide a high level of service and that's why i'm also doing group coaching so I can help a lot more people and provide the same level of service to them. So those to me are like some of the best ways to make lots of money very easily, quite honestly. So to lose weight, whole plant-based foods are the best. They're king. They're the lowest in calories, the most natural for your body, highest in nutrients, and they're most anti-inflammatory. They're literally mother nature designed those foods for our body. So why would we go against mother nature, right? That's my thought on it. Intermittent fasting, unbelievable results. That's how you get a six pack. That's the, it's really the only way to get a six pack is to intermittent fast. High intensity interval training, or better yet, any activity you will do. <laughs> so I always say any activity is good activity. High intensity interval training is the best. They can, you can actually expend about seven to 800 calories in one hour versus traditional cardio and other things. However, if you don't want to do it and you're not going to do it, it's not going to serve you. So I always say any activity you like to do and will do is the one you should be doing. <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> okay. But again, like I said before, actually, I'll be providing a downloadable resource for you guys that lists specific proven and effective ways to lose more weight and make more money. Okay. Mindset shift number five. From I can't or it's too hard to I can, what if it could be easy? Life changing right here. So have you have you had the thought of any of these, right? I can't do it. It's going to be hard, too hard to do. I don't want to sacrifice something, right? Like foods. I don't want to give up, you know, my favorite foods and stuff like that, right? Really, it's, it's, it's okay. We all have these thoughts, right? But why are you having them? Like, what is the story you're telling yourself about that thing? Why don't, why do you think it's going to be hard to do? Why do you think you need to sacrifice something, right? Hope that makes sense. But if you can, if you can pinpoint this for yourself, it changes the game for you. Again, it goes back to the idea in the beginning of, you know, this is where my mindset currently is right now. I got to change it. Here's one of the biggest limiting beliefs that we have in regards to this, right? Is you have to work hard to get it. Right. We've got this like unwritten rule here in our mind for most of us that it's like prideful to work your tail off. You know what I mean? Like blood, sweat and tears, work hard for the money. Money doesn't grow on trees. Same thing with health and weight loss. So no pain, no gain. That one is partially true because you do have to, you know, introduce some stimulus to grow your muscles or to make a change. But it doesn't necessarily have to be hard, actually. Nothing worthwhile comes easy is implying that easy is bad. Like all, we've got all these misconceptions and limiting beliefs for ourselves. That's easy for you to say, you've always been thin and rich, right? Easy money implies that it's illegal, right? That's not actually the case. And so that's just a belief a lot of us have that you wanna to start to challenge for yourself, okay? And it really is not necessarily about working harder. It's really about working smarter and learning the things you're learning on this, this workshop today. And again, it's more about aligning versus grinding, right? So truly, this I love this phrase because it's so true. If you find something you love to do, you will never work a day in your life. I am living proof, you guys, okay? I literally love helping people, if you couldn't tell. 
right? I, I'm, I'm living my dream. I don't care how much money I make. I don't care. I love what I'm doing. And that's, I realized I had to come to that idea. I used to work in the IT department for 18 years at my, at my old job, but you know, I didn't love it. I didn't like what I was doing. It was, it was work. I was grinding. It felt like I was in jail at quite honestly. I hated it. I was a, I was a slave to it. All right. So, and this can even happen in your own business, right? In the beginning of my business, I became a slave to coaching people actually, because I had like 25 clients at one time. And so what I realized, that's what actually why I'm going towards group-based coaching moving forward, mainly primarily because I don't want, I, I want to continue loving it. Like I don't want to, to be a grind, right? Does that make sense? So whatever that's happening for you guys, wherever this is happening in your life, really look at it and say, am I aligned with this or am I grinding, man? What in the hell? Right? Life is not meant to be a grind and hard. It's meant to be amazing, okay? So this is what helps you uncover this. We're going to get into the biggest part of this session right here. And man, this can change your life. When you can uncover this principle for yourself, the way I'm going to teach you today, it's going to change the entire game for you, okay? So literally, we are motivated by two main things, pain and pleasure. A lot of this is not new news for you guys, especially those of you who've been around me for a while. But literally, every action we take is driven by one of these two things. We're either trying to move away from pain or go towards pleasure in some area of our life, okay? So literally, this is the secret sauce here. Pain is two to three times more motivating. I've got a couple examples I'm going to share with you guys really quick. Some of you actually have maybe heard of these. <laughs> um, but the vacation example, imagine you guys were all together and I'm like, hey, everyone, let's go on a vacation to Hawaii. All expenses paid. Okay, We're just going to go for three weeks and all you got to do is hop on a plane and I'll see you there. We're going to party and have a great time. So the pleasure is awesome, right? Maybe some of you guys will take me up on that. But the pleasure is awesome, right? However, what if I what if I interjected a bit more pain and I said, well, oh, you know what? Sorry, guys, you're gonna need to come up with 50 grand in order for us to go. <laughs> so the pain of the 50 grand is so much that you probably wouldn't want to even go. Is is that right? Like, at least for me, I, I that's how I would feel. Same thing though, we're going to go a bit deeper with this idea. There's levels of this, okay? Level one, level two, level three, so on and so forth. But basically, the high rise example I'm going to give you guys is going to really hone in on this for you. So imagine you're, you're at the, standing on the ledge of a high rise building. It's about 300 feet in the air, okay? It's connected by a hundred foot rope to another high rise building. And there's a million dollars in a backpack sitting on the other ledge. So you've got this pain of potentially falling to your death and the pleasure of a million dollars. Well, if you ask me this question, I wouldn't go for it because I, I don't want money that much. <laughs> it's enough to fall into my death, right? Because I don't trust myself that I can make it across. My mindset there isn't strong enough yet, right? But some people who aren't afraid of heights might be like, oh, I'll go get that backpack all day long. Sure. The pain isn't big enough, right? It's all relative is, is the point here, right? A million dollars may not be, if it's $10 million, uh, maybe, but still not enough, <laughs> right? And quite honestly, I don't think any amount of money would let me, would, would make me cross that. However, if you put one of my kids, imagine a loved one is, is on the other ledge for you instead of the million dollars. Man, now what do you do? And then the building is on fire and they only have a few minutes or they're going to be burned to death. Now, what do you do? Man, I'd cross that rope friggin' right away. I, I wouldn't even think about it. Like, the, the, so literally my pain of losing my loved one has exponentially increased my motivation. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. This is going to change your life, guys. I'm telling you right now. This changed my life. And I'm going to teach you in just a couple more slides here exactly how. So issue number one, is you want to invert it or accept the challenge. So instead of, I can't, well, if they can do it, I can do it for sure, right? If it's too hard, what if it could be easy? Or what if I'm just a beast and I love working hard, right? That's the challenge accepted mindset. Instead of I have to sacrifice, well, what if, you know, it's not about what I'm giving up, it's about what I'm going to gain. 
guys, what if you, what if you gave up a couple of foods and you had endless energy all day long for the rest of your life? That's what happens. Okay. I'm living proof of that actually. For the past seven years, I've had endless energy. Ask my wife. It's unreal. All day long, all, mid till midnight till two, I only sleep three hours. I have the same amount of energy every day. And it's because I have endless energy. I'm feeling my body completely different than I used to be. So number two, if you increase the pain of not doing it and manipulating our actions by increasing the pleasure of the current painful action. Okay, this is gold, by the way, you guys. This is going to change the game for you. If you can increase the pleasure of the painful actions currently, right? If you think eating or exercising, eating healthy, exercising, prospecting, selling, or painful, and how can we increase the pleasure of that? Okay. Or the vice versa. If you can increase the pain of what is currently pleasurable to you, right? Make it hard for you to eat crappy, right? Junk food. Throw away all your junk food. So you got to go all the way out and buy it again. And right, it increases the pain for you. If eating junk food, watching TV, throw your TV away, right? Uh, you know, whatever cause pain for that thing. And some other ideas, by the way, really quick for pleasure is let's just say you want to exercise, but you just don't want to go to the gym or whatever. Just get a, get a YouTube link queued up on your, phone, on your phone or iPad and for a 10 minute workout and put your shoes, your workout shoes next to your bed as you wake up, right? <laughs> and just literally press the button, put your shoes on to make it as simple as possible, right? Again, increase the pleasure of the things you got to do. You know, you got to do them, okay? So this is what this looks like in, in action here. Level one motivation is doing it for yourself. And it is not enough. I'm telling you right now. I felt like a zombie day in and day out for years. I'm not kidding when I say this, guys. I'd come home and I have no energy after my day of work. And I had to lay on an ottoman for 20 minutes just to be able to do dinner and homework for the kids, right? I couldn't, I had no energy actually back then. And, I, and, and my temper, I, my patience was tested by my kids all the time. I had a short temper. I got sick all the time. I'd go out and mow my lawn for a few minutes. Boom, blow up. My allergies blew up and I get a sinus infection for a week coming out of that. Like it was really bad. I had like chronic allergies for myself. My digestion problems were bad. I was sore all the time. I mean, the list goes on and on quite honestly, but I didn't like my job on top of everything else. And I just didn't like what I was doing. So I just, I was in a really big, deep rut for myself. This was about, you know, nine, eight, nine years ago. Okay. And so um, this is what level two motivation looks like though. So guys, this is my dad, my uncle, my cousin, and my grandpa. And this is a picture a long time ago, a couple months before my dad passed on. I actually lost my dad to pancreatic cancer uh, on December 16th, 1996. He's only 42. I was 15. And what I realized for myself, you guys, and this is really what motivated me to make a change for myself, is I realized I was getting into my late 30s and I didn't want it, I didn't want my kids to go through that pain that I went through losing my dad. It was the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. And it was just devastating to me in my life. And it it derailed me for many years. I held on to the pain from that for over 20 years. And it, I don't ever want my kids to go through that for themselves. So enter me. I'm in my late 30s, or, you know, mid to late 30s. And I feel like garbage. I, I feel like a zombie. I'm short with my kids. I feel, like, I feel like I'm dying, quite honestly. So I literally, I'm sitting there thinking about this. And I'm like, man, if I keep eating the way I am and not prioritizing my health the way that I am, I'm going to die. And I'm going to leave my kids the way that my dad left us, right? And so that was the motivation I needed to make the change I did. And I've never looked back and it changed my life forever. So my question to you guys, how can you get to level two motivation for yourself? How can you increase the pain of not doing it, right? Of not achieving the health, achieving your financial goal, right? Finances will only help you right? They're not a bad thing. So if there's a belief behind there, we got to get rid of those, the, our mindset around that. Okay. The last mindset shift I'm going to be sharing with you today. These are all gold, by the way, 
but guilt. Guilt is a huge one, and maybe you have this. I had this. Stay with me. I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna share this with you. So the if I win, it will hurt others, or for money in particular, there's a limited supply. These are crushing you right now. If you have these, they are crushing and debilitating you. People will look at me differently if I have more money or if I, if I lose the weight I'm looking to lose, right? If I'm more desirable, it will hurt my significant other. This is a very common one. If I take someone's money, it will hurt them. This was one I had. Like, I didn't want to charge people for my services, yet I devalued myself because of this one, right? Stupid. I'm priceless. I'm worth $50 million, right? Right? And, and by the way, we all are, <laughs> right? There's, there are no limits on the amount of money you can make. It's just another limited belief, right? And that's actually the last one here. But people with money or nice bodies are greedy, egotistical, bad in some way. Again, these are going to hurt you guys, right? If you have these types of thoughts and, and mindset. The more I make, the less is available for others. That's complete garbage. Again, it actually goes back to that one. If I take someone's money, it's implying that there's a limited amount. Right? And that that person can't replenish their amount. Like that's crazy. So if any of these, I want you guys to check in. Do you have any of these thoughts or beliefs? What do you think will happen when you lose weight and have more money? How do you think it will impact others? What will they think of you? Okay. This is linked to why you don't have it right now. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. In some way, shape, or form, we've got 60,000 thoughts a day. I guarantee you have one of these that are linked if you don't have a lot of money or if you haven't lost a lot of weight yet, okay? So we want to uncover these for you. Any one of these mindsets could be sabotaging you right now. So literally, did any of these stick out for you? If they did, write them down. Please, write them down right now for yourself, for your own sake. This is because they're going to point you to where you need to do some work inside. Now that you've discovered this, It's your duty and responsibility to start breaking the cycle. Remember, there are no heroes. There are no knights in shining armor coming to save you here, right? You could change your mindset anytime. It's a choice. And can you do it alone? Yes, of course, for sure. But from my experience, it's really freaking hard. It's so hard to stay consistent enough and accountable. And it could take months and years because I literally did this. I try to do things by myself. No, it's you just, you waste your time, quite honestly. Right? So you have to go up in it with somebody else. And so lucky for you, there's an easier and better way. And I've got some amazing news. Truly the next best thing to a hero or magic pill. <laughs> and I'm going to toot my own horn. I love it. I'm so excited about this. But it's really a brand new once in a lifetime opportunity to help you reach your goals like never before. I have a brand new program, guys. Okay, Lose 10 pounds, make 10K in 10 weeks. It's a special inner circle program. I'm launching it for the first time. This is literally the first launch of this program. This is exactly what it looks like. Okay. It's first of its kind. It's going to, we're going to be leveling up both main areas of your life like never before, quantum leaping them. There's going to be weekly inner circle coaching and accountability, a personalized success roadmap just for you. Everyone's a bit different. And we each have our own thoughts and beliefs and mindsets. So it's important to uncover whatever's going on. Limitless Health and Money Mindset Healing Series. I've been working on this for a while. It's going to be awesome. And it's actually still in the works. So you guys, whoever wants to be a part of this will also help create it, which is even cooler. Challenges, we're going to be doing quantum money and weight loss soars. Literally soaring like an eagle. And I actually have this picture here because these are the challenges we're going to get into. I'm in a weight loss sore. I'm in a money sore. Man, we're going to get into that hard. And then it's going to be super intimate. It's only going to be a handful of people, all right? It's literally, I want my inner circle to be my inner circle of people who are birds of a feather flocking together, rushing life, who want to be limitless, okay? And then I'm actually going to be doing next level manifestation trainings that I am going to introduce each month into this program as well. It's a first, I've got lots of cool ideas I'm implementing. This is one of them actually. But unleash your limitless potential in this year, okay? We're gonna immediately work on your current self-image, 
I don't care where you are, by the way, there's infinite possibilities for you that still exist. So we're going to be uncovering them right in week one, right off the bat. We're going to be going through proven strategies. I already uncovered a handful from this presentation that you guys watched in on, but we're going to go super deep with next level proven strategies that you are most aligned with. Okay. Lots of ways to skin a cat. We're going to determine what are the best ones for you in particular that will get you to your goals. Okay. And then of course, me, Tony, will be coaching and supporting you every step of the way each and every week. Okay. Providing next level accountability. In fact, I'm and I'm still creating it, but I have an app that we're going to be leveraging. And you guys will actually help with this app. I want input on it. I want to make it super awesome. You actually will be able to help kind of do this along with me, which would be really, really cool. And of course, like I mentioned before, birds of a feather flock together. The community we're going to be building with this limitless community is going to be next level, guys. The most amazing individuals on the planet I want in this group and community, you guys, right? Seriously, who are on this call, who are watching this presentation, that is you, okay? I want you in there. When we win, we all win. So what if you could Uber directly to your goals? <laughs> How awesome would that be, right? I'm not talking just putting in the GPS anymore. What if you could Uber directly to your goals? What if you had a guide, a coach, right from day one, when you set forth on your journey to make more money and lose more weight? Day one, you want like exactly what you need to do, when you need to do it, why you need to do it, and exactly how you need to do it. And, and I'm not, I highlighted you, by the way, on all these, because everyone's different. Yes, you, Rob, right? <laughs> Seriously, I've worked with dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people at this point. And I know lots of different personalities and types. And I promise you, we'll unlock exactly what you need to take all the guesswork out of it, right? Would that help you? Incapable of failing, all in, way faster results. That's exactly what this program is designed to be. And what's even more exciting? Guys, this is awesome. All the founding members of this program will become an affiliate, a limitless affiliate, and can earn 20% commission on anyone else you refer into it. 20% commission, okay? All commissions paid out 30 days, and honestly, I'll pay them right away. I want to serve you guys, right? My people. I want to make it the easiest and most effective path for you to make an extra 10K or lose an extra 10 pounds as quickly as possible in your life while having fun feeling fulfilled and loving life. You guys, I want this to be fun. Why should losing weight or making more money be hard and suck? It doesn't need to be. In fact, I've turned it into literally like I love, I don't have to lose any more weight, but I'm putting on muscle. I love it. I love doing it, right? Making more money. It's so much fun now, right? It's when you eliminate all the thoughts and mindsets that were keeping you stuck, it's fun as hell. And I want that to be what you guys have as well, right? Do you think you can win big if I am here in your corner providing you every step you'll need? As one of my Limitless founding members, you better bet that I want to see you succeed outstandingly, right? If you succeed, I succeed, right? I go all in on my people. Ask any one of you guys, and a lot of you are here. <laughs> I try my best to go all in on all of my people. What is the investment you might be asking? for this. It's a 10 week program that retails for 2,500 bucks. Okay. But here's the deal. Since you invested your time here today with me, I appreciate you guys so much, by the way. I love you guys. And I know you're serious about taking charge of your weight and money once and for all and becoming a limitless founding member. I want to offer you an amazing fast action bonus and take a thousand dollars off of that price. Okay. I really just want it to be accessible to everybody. Plus, if you do join, we get to kick your session off right away with a 60 minute deep dive. It's a coaching session that we will literally uncover whatever's going on in your mindset right now. Step by step, we are going to dissect like that, that one game of operation where you go through each area and we're going to see what thoughts live there. Okay. And you will know exactly where you need to progress, how to do it, 
right off the bat faster than ever before. Fast action is a decision and is powerful and it's honoring yourself and your own worth. So I want to reward you for that, right? Truly. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So my question is, are you in? Are you in? Do you guys want to be part of the founding members of this Limitless Life program here? If so, this is where you can go to join. And I'm actually going to be putting the link and providing the link to everyone who attended this. So, but it's really just on my website, lose 10 pounds or make 10K in 10 weeks. Okay. And for the founding members, you enter this code and it knocks the thousand dollars right off for you. Okay. I want to make it a no brainer to allow you to progress in your life faster than ever before and to have to do it in the most amount of fun as well. Right. It, it doesn't have to be hard. We will be starting this program next week. Okay. So there's some prerequisite work we're going to be talking about next week. But it's never really about the money. It's about your priority and your time, right? If it is about money, though, I'm offering a payment plan as well, okay? To make it easier for people and more accessible, okay? I never want money to be the issue. My intention for you here is to not just lose 10 pounds, but to learn how to lose all the weight you desire and to earn your money back super fast and a whole lot more this year, okay? So 10K is just 10K. Honestly, 10K is not that much money. I used to think it was. I like put it on a pedestal like for like so long. But once you make it, it's like, it's not that much money. Like, I, you know, you need more money, <laughs> right? So the idea is if you, you got to keep leveling up your mindset, in other words, this will teach you how to do that, right? I'm working on my 100K mindset right now. Like, how can I get to 100K as quickly as possible this year? That's what we're doing. We're going to do this together, guys, okay? And by the way, 100K months, 100K months. So it's, it's the elusive seven figure mark, right? So just one mindset shift you will get from this program is worth this investment alone. I promise you, you're going to make way more money from it just by unlocking this for yourself. And although I revealed to you a lot of the avenues we're going to be exploring, it is hard to do it by yourself. I'm here to tell you, I tried. I tried. I'm, a, I'm, and I'm good at what I do. I couldn't even do it myself. I needed other people to point out the mindset going on inside of me. It's hard for you to see it for yourself. So truly, what's your potential ROI on this? The question I have for you is, what's the cost of not doing this, right? You're going to make your quick ROI. I guarantee you that. You will make, I will make sure you make your money back very fast. But I really want to get you to 10K, 20K, 50K. But how will that make you feel is more and most important. The freedom you're going to get, the confidence you're going to get, feeling empowered every day, right? Having fun doing what we're doing, meeting with us every week, right? It's going to be so much fun. I'm telling you right now. To never have to worry about these things again. That's alone worth it uh, to me. So the doors are going to close on this soon. When they reopen, the investment will be 2,500 bucks, okay? And really, this is a very special opportunity because it's the first launch of this limitless event. And man, this is the beginning of something huge, guys. I'm telling you right now. I have visions of changing the world in lots of ways. And this is just the very beginning. So if you want to come with me and you want to rock and roll, I, birds of a feather flock together, I take care of my people. Let's go. Let's do this, right? All the questions you are thinking now are just habitual thinking from your lower self and mind. Don't overthink it. Just listen to your heart and your soul. And follow that, okay? What actually happens when you change your mindset this year? Next year, in a few years, this is what it looks like. You can go about with your same mindsets. That's totally fine. But your progress in life slows way down. I don't want that for you. We're not meant to be just sitting on a couch and rotting away the rest of our life. We're meant to expand and soar and progress, right? This could be your success curve right, from this program, coming out of it. If not now, when? Okay? So if you're not ready to join right now, I totally get it. But if not now, when? When are you going to be ready? You're never going to be ready, right? No one's ever ready for this stuff, right, for their next level. No one. I don't care who you are. That, you guys, is the end. And I'm going to come back to you here. And I want to thank you guys who are live on this with me today. I appreciate you so much. I love you guys so much. Angie, yes, 
let me unmute. Oh, oh, oh is that a, is that a clap? Yeah, I was just <laughs> clapping. Thank you. I thought you raised your hand. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, I hope you guys found tremendous value from this presentation today. What did you guys think, actually, while I have you here live? <laughs> Tony, I think it was excellent. I, I really thought it was a really, really great presentation. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mike, yeah. thank you, brother. I fully, fully agree. I thought it was fantastic, Tony. Thank you for that. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm in. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I love yeah, you guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> and I appreciate, I appreciate your support for being here live. This means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, this is going to be so fun. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. In fact, the next few months are going to be unbelievable. Unbelievable. So thank you guys for sharing in this with me. This, that's the end of my event here. Are there any questions actually? Do you guys have any questions or did anything stick out to you that really, really impacted you and i know mike you kind of came in a little bit late uh dude some of the best mindsets are in the very beginning so you're gonna want to check that out um but did anything in particular stick out for any one of you guys and that's okay if not <laughs> yeah no i think i think for me um you know tony i'm always <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit stubborn when it comes to these things but i i think the mindset shifts you were talking about like the self-worth and then the number five, the, from, I can't, it's too hard to, I can, what if it could be easy? I think those things resonate with me. Yeah. I tend to make excuses for why, you know, I can't achieve a certain goal or I kind of, I kind of sit back and, and kind of become resigned to how things are instead of thinking about what could be. Yeah. Um, and I think, frankly, I just take the easy way out with a lot of things. And, and I think maybe, you know, now it's time for me to challenge myself a little bit and, and um, think outside the box and, um, you know, take accountability for, for my actions. Um, so yeah, I, I, that really resonates. Awesome. And thank you for sharing that. That's huge. Yeah. And, and if anything, if this lighted, you know, sparked a, a fire within you, then my goal here is done. Like that's all it really is. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's great. Awesome. Anybody else? Anything stick out for you guys? Well, for, for me, I'm just processing it all still through again. There's a lot of great information, a lot of great tips, and like just literally overall, like one of the things I really found interesting is just the looking at it as an energy in and energy out balance sheet as opposed to like weight gained or money in the count or not or the stress is applied to it as opposed to just a basic energy in energy out simple principle and that takes it and makes it more of a bite-sized simple issue right because then it's just to understand that it's just the energy in energy out positive negative what flow is going with it and yeah the balance will be achieved yes. yeah really. awesome rob thank you so much man i appreciate it yeah. yeah, Rob, I agree. I think that was an interesting comparison tone when you when you were talking about how it really they really are similar concepts. The idea of of you know gain you know gaining more money and losing more weight, you know, it is they are very similar concepts. And I had never thought about it that that way. And I think it was really eye opening to see you do that. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it was funny because I, I was literally going back through everyone I worked with over the past like several years and I uncovered this. I'm like, wait a second, all this stuff is very similar. Yeah. So that was kind of cool, right? And yeah. it, I think it helps shed light on what's possible, mm -hmm. right? For yourself, because you're not looking at things like that normally. So yeah, yeah I appreciate that, you guys. Awesome. Cool. And Mike, thank you so much. I just saw the chat. Uh, thank you for your input too, bro. I appreciate you guys. Awesome. So listen, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Thank you sincerely for being here. You guys, it means more than you know to me. It really does. So thank, thank you, you so Tom. much. It was really, really great. Great job. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Till next week, brother. Yes, Rob, for <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, you guys have an awesome rest of your day, okay? You All right, bro. you too. Later. Bye, everyone. Bye.